How has Jesus used valleys in your life to deepen your relationship with him? Hey guys, Andrew here with Unlocked, your daily key to open up your heart to God. Have you ever had a time in your life where it just seemed like you couldn't hear God when everything was so hopeless and dark, it felt like God wasn't close? I know I have before, and maybe you're going through something like that right now. That's what our devotion is about here today. In fact, it's called The Valley of Silence, and it was written by Sarah Rexford. Sometimes it's easier to ask where God is than to consider what the silence really means. There are so many stories in the Bible of God using people in major ways. Moses led thousands of people from slavery. Joseph saved his known world from starvation. Not to mention Jesus himself making a way to save the world, past, present, and future, from sin and death. What we often ignore in those stories, though, are the stories before the story. God took Moses to an actual wilderness before taking him before Pharaoh. Joseph went to the wilderness of slavery before leading Egypt from starvation. Jesus fasted in the wilderness for 40 days before starting his ministry, one that would make a way for salvation for humankind. Often Jesus takes us through a wilderness before using us. The key word there is through, though. He doesn't just take us to the wilderness and leave us there. No, not not at all. The wilderness is a training ground, and training grounds are meant for us to pass through, not to stay in. In his faithful timing, God will lead us not just to the wilderness, but through it. Wildernesses can feel like valleys of isolation and silence. But remember that even in the valley, the Holy Spirit is growing our roots into Christ. We see that in verses like Romans 5, verses 1 through 5, and Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. So if God seems silent, draw in close to him. Closeness with God requires dropping our walls and getting silent sometimes. It's often in the silence that we hear God's truth, the good news of Jesus Christ. When we hear truth, we are trained in truth. And it's only after we've been trained in truth that we can go out from the valley and onto the battlefield in confidence. Psalm 32 verse 7 says God surrounds us with shouts of of deliverance. So embrace the valley for the training ground it is. Then go out and conquer as a member of Christ's kingdom. God's shouts of deliverance leading the way. So let's talk about this. How has Jesus used valleys in your life to deepen your relationship with him? We talked about how intimacy requires dropping our walls. What walls make it difficult for you personally to hear Jesus in your everyday life. Talking about this reminds me of another passage in God's Word, the passage that's probably pretty familiar that says to be still and know that I am God. And that one to me is a reminder of this as well. We have to be still. We have to get those things out of the way and then we can know God. And sometimes that involves a time period in that valley of silence. As we read in Psalm 136, verse 16, He led His people in the wilderness. His faithful love endures forever. Now, I'd encourage you to read Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 7 through 8, to help keep God's Word alive in your life. Unlocked is a service of Keys for Kids Ministries. Have you seen the cover art of the print editions of Unlocked? You can also see those in our app. Have you ever wanted some posters of that? Well, we've got you covered. Check out shop.keysforkids.org and you can order them right on there. Until next time, I'm Andrew, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.